Hello everybody and welcome to another video on the Yugi Organization YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the giveaway on our social media platforms. I did mention in the article, for those of you who have read it, that you would have to comment on this video to enter the YouTube one, but I am going to quickly go over everything. To make a very long story short, we've had a lot of these platforms for eight, maybe nine years, and they've just not been reaching people. I've always felt on a personal level that no one likes when people say like, comment, and subscribe on every single little thing. And I've just felt like if you cared about finding us on Facebook and you had Facebook that you used every day, you'd just type us in and find us. We're not difficult to locate. But I have learned even just since publishing this article that not a lot of people knew we had it and wished they'd known. So I'm going to be doing a bit more to push the platforms. There is an Instagram picture here. I'm just, full disclosure, stole this picture off the internet. We technically have an Instagram. I've never posted to it and I don't intend to. But long story short, there are four primary platforms that I'm looking to grow and I'm looking to see what I can do with them. We also have a Discord server. It's partnered. We've had it for years and it just hasn't had a whole lot of people join it lately. So I figured I would put a link there as well as to my Metify, which I'm not going to talk too much about in this video. So first and foremost, we do have our Facebook page. It is linked in the article and Basically, it just mostly auto posts things to Facebook, but I am going to measure the growth of the various outlets that we have social media for. If I find that Facebook grows in likes and follows more than the YouTube channel grows in subscriptions, then we will focus more on growing the Facebook page, uh, using it to organize events, making more memes and stuff like we used to. But for now and for the last little while, due to the lack of engagement on it, it hasn't felt like a priority, so we have just used it as a way of auto-posting these articles. Next we have the Twitter. More or less the same thing, but we keep an eye out for pretty good content that we try to retweet. We can look for more, like, OCG deck lists. We could try and find, like, Japanese tweets and translate them to English. Uh, I think it would be really cool if you could, like, tag us in, like, an OCG post you find on Twitter that you'd love to see in English. Some Japanese tournament posts his deck list and his matchups, and Twitter's auto-translate isn't the greatest. Some of you may remember, like, Windup translates as Mainspring, for example, and we're more than happy to just see that we've been tagged in a comment and reply to the comment with a better, more accurate translation of what you're looking at. Twitch is a little more involved. Uh, I do use the Twitch channel as well for my own personal use, not just Yu-Gi-Oh things. I stream uh, Smash Bros. speedruns, Ocarina of Time, randomizers, my case openings, things related to the game we're making, HeroSync. But I also do live commentary restreams of the YCS events and so on and so forth. And frankly, I would like to know what other things you guys would like to see on the Twitch channel. And then, of course, we have YouTube. YouTube has been a place for the podcast done by Matt and I to be uploaded. Matt is a former R&D employee from Konami in Europe. We did a lot of Master Duel work for a little while, but as you can see, like it didn't really reach enough of you guys to make it worth booking every single Saturday off to keep doing. Uh, again, deck profiles, top 10 lists, card reviews, whatever it is you guys like, just tell me in a comment on this video what you would like to see. And that way it can inform us going forward where we should be focusing our attentions on. And lastly, I do want to just quickly remind everyone that Quincy McCoy as well has a YouTube channel that we use for the website where he does deck profiles on every single card theme. And it's honestly pretty impressive. He's been doing this for years and years and he just has not reached nearly enough people. So... Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please leave a comment on the article, on the tweet, on the Facebook post, this YouTube video, anything you can muster the time to do, and I will be checking all of it. Again, on December 1st, I will be looking at all the comments on every single thing. I will be doing a live stream on Twitch to prove the legitimacy of the randomization, and I will be randomly choosing people to receive boxes of Darkwing Blast. I don't care if you live in Madagascar or Colombia, Australia, I will ship it to you wherever you are. 
It will be a North American TCG box. That is what I have access to. But it will be shipped wherever it is you tell me to ship it. You may even want to not receive the prize yourself and surprise a friend by mailing it to them. Just let me know where you want it to go. That's where it will arrive. Thanks for taking the time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.